Hello everyone and welcome back to the Common Sense Crypto Channel. As with you always, this is Rich doing another video today. So I hope you're all having a wonderful day today wherever you are in this great, great world. We're going to talk about a lot of things in this video. I'm going to list it as an XRP video so all of you get the notifications. Once upon a time in the 50s, a family could own a home, a car, and send the kids to college all on one income. Now the 50s were ahead of my time, but... What, how did we get to where we are today from that? I mean, think about it. One person working could cover all of that. Today, two people work full-time jobs and have to take on a part-time job just to make ends meet. How we got here was inflation. We have the Fed printing a ton of money, and we have the government recklessly spending all of that money at the same time. It needs to come to an end. The fiat system is in meltdown, inflation is skyrocketing, and the world seems to be on the brink of financial collapse. But the U.S. government is going after crypto. They want you to believe their CBDC will save you. It won't. So the Council for Economic Advisors showed outright disregard for the purported benefits of Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies in the President's economic report released on Tuesday. The report claimed that cryptocurrencies lack fundamental value and also do not act as effective alternatives to money. They want you to believe crypto is no good, period, because they're pushing for a CBDC. But there's other reasons that they don't want you holding crypto as well. We're going to talk about that in this video. But as far as the U.S. dollar, I still believe in crypto before I would ever hold the U.S. dollar. Because at some point, we all know the U.S. dollar is going to collapse with the current financial system. Hyperinflation is coming. Banking sector will take a massive hit. Unemployment rates will rise. Housing bubble in certain countries will burst. What to do? Cash is king. Crypto will pump gold and silver. Now, cash is king is not a good idea. Because like I just said, the U.S. dollar will eventually lose value. However, crypto will definitely pump as the U.S. dollar falls in value. Your alternative, if you don't like crypto, is to get into gold and silver. Crypto is the solution to bank runs, not the cause. So I always wonder, why do they want us out of crypto so bad? Why do they hate crypto so much? Well, right here is the reason. Banks and financial institutions are the custodians of most of our financial assets, including cash and securities. They hold the assets for us and make accounting notations regarding our ownership. This scenario has arisen from necessity because for decades it has been impractical for us to take custody of our own assets. We have depended on custodians to facilitate the entire financial system, including trading, lending, and borrowing. The result, one, extreme government regulation of custodians, and two, blind trust in those custodians, mainly due to that regulation. In essence, most Americans and Westerners have the general impression their money is safe at chartered banks because these banks cannot take too many risks with their money. But here's what's really going on. Now that Janet Yellen said, we're most likely going to bail out more banks, those banks are going to get involved in more risky behavior because they know the government will step in and bail them out. But this is probably why they hate crypto so much, because crypto in the future will allow you to become your own bank. You no longer need their failing system. You could borrow against your crypto. You could lend it out. You can earn passive income from it. You could put your crypto to work for you. That's why they hate it so much. White House takes aim at crypto and scathing economic report. Now, the reason why they hate crypto so much as well, because they want to push for that CBDC so they could keep control over all the money. But in the future, I still believe if you hold crypto, you can get very rich. Maybe you could avoid the CBDC system. I'm sure there's going to be private options available for crypto holders. So... If you really want to know what's going on, you only need to know this. There is an all-out war against the financial sector, regional banks, and crypto alike. The recent actions are a show of force to impel compliance. It is no accident that the new CBDC paper dropped today. And you see here, while banking sector stability suffers, however, welfare can improve significantly 
through a CBDC. So they're saying as the banking system falls apart, they're going to have to bring about a CBDC to protect everyone. And that's why they're pushing for this on a daily basis. The Inflation Reduction Act will actually lead to $1.2 trillion in government spending to fight climate change three times the official estimate from Congress, Goldman Sachs says in a new estimate today. The Inflation Reduction Act passed last year is intended to encourage investment in renewable energy sources and efficient technology. As such, it's crucial to one of the Biden administration's fundamental priorities, decarbonizing the economy to forestall the worst effects of climate change. And the reason they're pushing for climate change and a CBDC at the same time is because they're going to tie carbon credits to the central bank digital currency. This way, if you don't have carbon credits in the future, you are screwed. And it's another way for them to tax you. The World Economic Forum climate change hoax is the biggest scam ever. CO2 is actually at a historic low. There's no plan to fix anything because the plan was to destroy everything. Always remember that. They want to they want to pull this current financial system down and yet everybody that you talk to outside of crypto still does not see it coming they still believe the banks are going to improve they're going to get better it's always been a safe place to keep your money and as long as they keep that narrative going eventually everybody's wealth is going to get swallowed up all at once why all of a sudden would CO2 pop onto in in invoices? I'll tell you why. They're building carbon credit scoring. They'll monitor and limit what you can buy. If CBDCs come in, when you've gone over your quota, they'll stop you from purchasing. Mark my words, this is their plan. Now, you've got to take a look at what's going on in Europe and in the UK because they're fast-tracking things much quicker. And again, they're starting to notice that they're going to be able to track carbon through a CBDC. That's going to come to the US as well. Now, some people are actually fighting for crypto, and I thought I would share this with you. Emmer introduces Bill to provide regulatory clarity for the blockchain ecosystem. Crypto and blockchain technology by nature does not easily fit into framework policy makers have considered when crafting regulations in the past. For too long, federal regulators and lawmakers have jammed the blockchain ecosystem into statutory definitions that just do not make sense. It should be simple. If you don't custody customer funds, you aren't a money transmitter. My bill provides that necessary confirmation for the blockchain community, Emmer said. The longer we delay providing this com common sense clarification, the greater risk that this transformative technology is driven overseas, depriving domestic users and investors. This bill will help America remain a technological leader in the crypto space. Tom Emmer is out there fighting for crypto as well. He wants to keep innovation here. He doesn't want to see company after company leave the U.S. And, you know, some people in Washington, maybe Tom Emmer needs to have a really good long sit down with Gary Gensler. Explain to him why we need to stop fighting against crypto. Because it's not only crypto leaving the U.S., it's also crypto holders. Crypto holders are on the move, searching for the best crypto-friendly countries to escape tightening regulation. When you earn your income online, where you choose to live could influence how much tax you pay or don't. Now, for years inside of crypto, we've seen people say, that's it, I'm leaving the U.S., I'm not paying the capital gains tax anymore, I'm moving to a country that no that doesn't have that like costa rica but then a lot of people get there and they go broke really quick they get rich too quick and they spend through it too quick you got to make smart decisions when crypto takes off you especially at a time like this when a cbdc is on the horizon you don't want to cash out crypto at some point go buy the lambo and all of a sudden end up on the universal basic monthly income 
you got to play it smart. And like I said, I believe 2023 is going to be a very big year for crypto. We're starting to see some politicians stand up against CBDCs. We're seeing politicians stand up for innovation, keeping it here in the U.S., like Tom Emmer calling for regulatory clarity. But as we get closer, we're going to see XRP change. I believe once that that case ends and Ripple wins, we're going to see XRP skyrocket in price so fast. A lot of you are going to get life-changing money very quick. What you do with it is up to you, but you got to play it smart because I still believe that we can avoid a CBDC system in the future, or maybe we could live a lot better under a CBDC if you have money. But everything is pointing in that direction still, so we're going to have to wait and see what happens. But I just wanted to make a video showing you the importance of what's going on in the world. With that said, I'm going to wrap up this video. I want to thank you all for watching. I appreciate all of you watching my videos. We'll see you in the next one. Have a great night.